Good morning and welcome. It's Wednesday, October 15th, 2008. I'm Julie Bedanes and this is the Morning Briefing, a rundown of the stories we're following here on WashingtonTimes.com. Investors are beginning to put money back into credit markets, signaling the banking crisis may be coming to an end. The combined U.S. and European injection of $3 trillion into the global financial system has helped to restore confidence and unfreeze money markets. Mickey Mouse was among the people ACORN registered to vote in Florida. The organization is now under investigation for voter fraud in 10 states. The McCain-Palin team is aggressively trying to link Obama to the left-leaning organization. Although the Obama campaign did give nearly a million dollars to the organization, they said the funds were for voter canvassing in larger states like Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Texas, and that the campaign never paid ACORN to register voters. A federal appeals court in Ohio yesterday set up a system to ensure fraud does not affect voting in November. The ruling means the Secretary of State must use government records to check thousands of new voters for registration fraud. Facebook already changed the look of college campuses, giving classmates and dorm mates access to pictures and details about each other without any real interaction. But the latest trend of gossip websites are bringing everything to the public sphere, want it or not. JuicyCampus.com, among others, is infiltrating college campuses across the country, and with anonymous posting technology, anyone can put up their thoughts on sorority reputations or their favorite fraternity brother, and even dangerously false rumors. Well, that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com, and I'll see you later today for the afternoon briefing.